Back at the Shiseido Tahiti Pro, presented by Outer Known. Men's opening round, heat number eight in the water. Leonardo Fioravanti, Ryan Kalman, and Matthew McGillivray. I'm Kai Pagura, along with Peter Mel. We just get the message that there will be 35-minute heats for those women's el elimination rounds, but no heat restart, so get busy out there. Here we go. Fioravanti, Ooh. deep on this one. Ooh. Can he make it out? And he does. That's a nice start for the Italian. That was uh, very, very dicey. That foam ball had some potholes in it as he was going over the top of it, and he was kind of coming into it with a punch of speed. Uh, and he was able to somehow unweight and glide over the top of it. It's one of the techniques. And you, know, you start to see those, the white water, and you got to go over the top of it. Opportunity, look at this, it's super deep. I mean, again, goes over the foam ball, and you thought, hey, at any moment, he can just go straight to the bottom. This elevator shaft just comes underneath you. And the finish, you know, he got the roundhouse cutty to finish. So this is a great start for Leo. Look at this inside the hole. There's the foam ball. Oh, he stayed above it. Nope, he did tuck it a little bit. Um, but again, he was able to go over the pothole. Just again, technique, pulling and yanking on the rail as he's inside of it to go up and over it. There he does, goes over it, and the, it actually lifted him up and out and spit him out. So cool to see that different angles. Yeah. One more time, and how about excellent? You're witnessing an 8.83 here for Leo Fioravanti. And a lot of the virtue of that is wave quality. You see how whole, the big round, uh, the drop in which he, the technical part of how he rode high up in the barrel to get up and over the foam ball, all of that plays in. And you see there's a good full point on this. Big round house cutty into the foam, uh, right over the top of the reef. No fear for Leo Fioravanti. Amazing what he's been able to do. I was him on the quick backup right here. One more time into the barrel, Leo Fioravanti oh. and he wants to shut this heat out okay. in the first eight minutes. So, you know, you look at where these two waves happen, right? Pretty much within, what, two minutes? Yeah. Right? So there you go. There's an example of how quickly you can turn a heat around and go excellent. This feels like this is going to be a number that's going to get him an excellent heat. Leo, you can go to the boat now and relax. How's this? Very deep and very technical, too. Once again, he had to compress and get super small to go through that section. This is a great angle here, once again, from our slow motion camera. See that technique. Eyeing it down. He's going to yank in the rail right there to get up higher in the pocket. See how he goes over the foam ball? That is so technical to do that and to understand that it's going to happen and then go low and out so he gets the exit guaranteed. I don't think we, we kind of haven't had the best waves, but yeah, I'm just like stoked to be back in the tube and just relax, you know, just cruising and enjoying Tahiti, looking back at these mountains. Uh, yeah, all the good stuff. Yeah, that wasn't enough to break the combination, so still Leonardo Fioravanti. Um, bravo to the Italian surfer because he's go he's gone excellent twice so far. Yeah, again, you think about it, I mean, and we've seen the red jerseys do it. That's been trending, you know, is that quick early start. It looks like you could get disappointed in the conditions, but those guys found gems. Here we go. Miguel Avray, snap to rail grab, goes through the pig dog there, three point stance, comes out of that. And Maddie looking for a 6.9 to get out of the two-wave combination. Good surfing by Matt, you know, but again, not able to take off and go straight into the barrel. So the snap into it, getting creative. That's what you got to do sometimes. He was able to get... Here we go. Firavanti doesn't need this one. And it's not going to change the thing. But he's still going to stay in the lead uh, with the 8.83 and 8.1. Arcal, Ryan Kalnan, straight into the barrel, travels through this section, needs to make some ground, and gets caught up in there incomplete for Ryan Kalnan. Again, one of the more dominant of all the women that uh, were in the opening round, which is everybody who's surfing this event. It's like one of the majors, right? It, it's not double points or extra points, but ultimately when you think about the venue and the spot, it is one of the more challenging that we have on the schedule slotted. Matty McGillivray and is able to take a lip on the back right there for the completion. Still in the combination situation. A seven point ride will get him out of that two wave combination. Yeah, and watch this one. I mean, again, conditions, you know, the easterly winds, you know, clocked around the right direction. They may have strengthened, but they're from a good direction. And that's groomed out these waves. If you watched again here, look at inside. He's doing everything to slow down. Got the arm in the wall, he's got the bum in the wall, he's grabbing the rail, dragging it in front there for stability, maximizing what he can behind the curtain and realizing that this thing might shut down, downturns out of it. And before the closeout, right there, gets out, gets the exit. 
This is nothing. I watched him backflip off the Vlokantz Bridge in South Africa just you know, a month and a half ago. So he, he knows how to do it. Our uh, Cal with a little bit of tube time, too. I think both surfers realizing the, the situation they're in, and they're just having a lot of reps. At, at you know, it, it's, this is, you know, 7, 9, or 6, 9, 3 or above. Gets himself out of combo. We'll see what the score is. Does it? Seven-point ride for Matty Gillivray. Replay of Ryan Callan. We'll take a look at this from the water peak. Giving himself a chance, and then, of course, the forehander here. Dragging those arms, both hands in the wall. It's exceptional, and to see where he's at at his point in his career right now. Uh, you know, top 10 in the world, and uh, performances at all the venues we have on tour. Well, bravo, Fiorovanti. He is into the round of 16.